What started as an act of kindness has grown into something that nobody could have predicted. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to an artist who has mastered the art of giving back. Guy Stanley Faloche, first of all, thank you for the beautiful backdrop. Can you just explain your type of art? I do more modern contemporary art, but through COVID, I went to that place where it was uh, one of the greatest times of my life. And as when I was just a small kid from Haiti, I learned speaking English by watching cartoons. So when the pandemic happened, I just realized that people need to laugh. So I just sat there, stared at the canvas for a while, and just asked myself, when was the things were like so easy, you know? It was when I was a kid. A lot of people think that I'm some overnight success. This is over 20 years in Make It, you know? I do look back at those times where I was like, God, grinding so hard. So you remember when Village Voice was D Magazine? Yes. And it was on every major corner all over the city. So I remember taking a thousand dollars, going to Kinko's and using the best paper to hat and printing out 2,000 of these, you know, these flyers basically. And Village Voice used to come out every Wednesday night at midnight. So I would go to every well-known location on Park Avenue in Soho and Tribeca and Chelsea. I would take it out and literally stuff each one. I was even going to the bookstores and Barnes and Nobles and like it was a bestseller. I would fold these flyers, stick them to each bestseller. <laughs> And I would never forget when I got my first email, you know, hey, I found your pamphlet in the Village Voice. I love your work. Can we come by? You know, me and my wife can come by. I was like, oh my God, yes. And I sold, you know, I ended up selling my first painting. Fast forward to today. I just want you to humble brag a little bit. Tell me about the magazines you've been in. Tell me about some of the people who've bought your work. Tell me where we could see your work. I did a cover of Resident Magazine. I was in Vogue. I was in Vanity Fair. I have celebrity clients like Uma Thurman, Vanessa Simmons, um, Clooney. I got lucky, you know? You know what, I'll take that back. I don't like using that word lucky. This was just 20 years of hard work and grinding and, and everything like that. You don't have to know that much about the art world to know how competitive the art world is. Oh my God, yes. And you know, there's a term starving artist for a reason, right? Right, right. But this past year, you did something very different. Yeah. You've reached success in your career going through a pandemic it's been very it's been a very difficult time for many people artists especially and you decided to do something about it right i made a promise to myself that every time i sell a painting i'm going to buy a painting for an unknown artist that's been my philosophy for the past 20 years fast forward i just had my sold out show at cavalier gallery uh, we had over 500 people there uh, and I wanted to do something nice for myself. You know, the numbers came in. I was like, wow, okay, I, this, is, this was, I made it. And you said once you made it, you were gonna purchase a what? <laughs> a $20,000 Rolex watch. And then instead of doing that, you did what? Uh, I realized now wasn't the time to buy a watch. There was something a lot better I could be doing with my money. So I decided to go on Instagram saying, hi, my name is Guy Sanfiloche. I'm an artist in New York City. Um, I know that all my artists and my community is hurting right now. And as a New Yorker, it's my duty to step up and help. I'm looking to buy as much artwork as possible. $80,000 later, over 200 pieces of artwork, over 150 different artists around the world. And the Faloche collection keeps growing. If there is one thing that everyone could learn from you, what is it? Never stop dreaming. Never stop dreaming.